whenever I edit this, oh. the little waves, yeah, yours are really, really low, so it's hard to tell where you start and stop. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, guys, welcome back to Come Again, the podcast. Apparently, We're... I don't talk loud enough. I'm Shannon. Dick. <laughs> I'm John Wise. <laughs> All right, so we got some news for you guys this week. Shannon's dying. <laughs> no, we couldn't get that lucky. Oh, <laughs> that's not funny. I mean, granted, what I said wasn't funny, but it was. But what you said wasn't funny either. <laughs> no, uh, this week we got a new t- the the title for Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi. Which there's already been two novels made with that title. Yeah, here's some here's some now people are trying to interpret what that means. I think it's pretty easy. First off, Yoda started it back uh, in uh, Jedi. Uh, when gone am I, last of the Jedi will you be? Is what he tells Luke. And then Luke was referred to as the last Jedi throughout uh, Force Awakens. Mm-hmm. So I think this is basically Luke's story. I mean, we found she found Luke. Um, he's he's going to be trading uh, Ray. So it's about the last Jedi. Luke. Do you think? I this... don't think they're going to kill him off. Not net. I was just getting ready to ask. I, I, I think. Uh, I got. Um, um, I think the, it kind of looks like Ice Cube. If they kill him off, it'll be the next movie. Uh, if they had. Yeah, they don't. Want, you wouldn't want to kill off Leia and Luke the, in the same. We don't want to kill off Han, then Leia and Luke, in a two movie period there. And then who's left? Chewbacca would be left to die in the ninth episode. Yeah. I, th- I think out of all those, Chewbacca's going to be the last. I think he's going to be a survivor of the original trilogy. He's going to be the last Wookiee uh, standing. Last Wookiee standing. That's the next reality, st- reality show coming <laughs> to you from the CW. Oh, don't forget Lando now. That's true. But, you know, Lando hasn't been seen since Jedi. And um, he didn't even really... He wasn't even that big of a... Wasn't mentioned at all last movie. Yeah. But there's been rumors since Force that he is signed up for um, at least one of the three films. Right. And it's still speculation that uh, Finn may in fact be uh, a Coercian. So. It's also speculated that he could also be force sensitive too, which is why he was able to use the yeah. lightsaber. Yeah. Yeah. Because in Legends, only someone with force abilities could use a lightsaber. Yeah. Now, that's not to say I mean, he used <clears throat> poorly. Right. But he still was able to use it. He held his own against uh, Kylo. Yeah, against Kylo. For t- yeah, yeah. Uh, this next I mean, movie, which is pretty impressive for someone who has no training whatsoever yeah. as a Jedi. Yeah, you know, and oh, let's face it, he admitted he was a janitor. How many times did he take the broom of a light uh, of a mop and pretend it was a lightsaber? <laughs> so he had probably, you've done it. Well, yeah, I've done it. He was a janitor. He did it. I was a janitor, too, at Walmart. <laughs> See? <laughs> and you got caught doing that, too, didn't you? you got well, you know, when you walk into the bathroom and there's shit all over the walls and the ceiling and everything. Sadly, that's not joking. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> not. That's Walmart bathroom. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's worse, a Walmart bathroom or the bathroom at a uh, gas station. Oh, I felt like uh, Eddie Murphy in uh, Daddy Daycare. <laughs> I haven't seen Daddy Daycare, I can imagine. But... Wow. We also got to see the latest trailer for Power Rangers. You don't have any of this written down, do you? No. Okay. What'd you think, John? Um, I loved it. I thought it was really cool. I love the direction they're going. I'm still not happy with Goldar, but I'm hoping there's another Goldar form later on that we'll see. Uh, the fight scenes that we saw, I don't think are going to be um, the last thing. The last. I don't think that the, those fight scenes are the last movie. I think that's going to be their first time battling and what about the change they made in Zordon I have no problem with it I think it's pretty cool yeah. uh, somebody pointed mm-hmm. out that there's a tint of red in there and that's to indicate that he used to be the Red Ranger which I think right. we've already got confirmed <clears throat> that you know he was the Red Ranger Rita was the Green Ranger right which um, they're and all the Rangers seems like they're kind of they're too. kind of taking from Voltron uh, legendary defender because King Alphor was the original Red Paladin of the Red Lion. Yeah. And uh, Emperor Zarkon was the original Black Paladin. Yeah. So, I mean. So, um, no, I like that. I'm really looking forward to it. That's March, right? That's, yeah. That's only, that's only next month, or two months. I believe March 3rd. 
Is it March 3rd? I think so. Oh, hell no. I'm going to be busy as f You know what? The store's probably just going to be closed that day. <laughs> the Switch comes out that day with Zelda. Power Rangers. I'm going to be at the fucking movie theater waiting for the movie to start playing Zelda. <laughs> I'm here going to be like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm playing fucking Zelda Breath of the Wild, bitch. What are you doing? Leave me alone. At least I'm not on my fucking phone. <laughs> All right. So last night we also got the new episode of Gotham. I missed it. I'll watch it today. Uh, they pulled a um, type of death of the family scenario with Jerome. They uh, took his face. Yeah. That's they, not cool. But the guy who took his face, Dwight, was on The Dark Knight. I don't care who the hell he was. You Chris don't take Fernolan. a man's face. That's like me taking your face and running around going, look, I'm shitting. <laughs> woo hoo hoo Well, that, that was, it was pretty funny, though. I cut grass. Because uh, <laughs> Dwight was like, do you forgive me for cutting? He was like, uh, Jerome was like, what's a face between friends? You brought me back to life, you know, no hard feelings. <laughs> and then <laughs> next thing you know, he has him, has Dwight strapped to a bomb in the uh, <laughs> Gotham power plant. And right before he leaves, he's like, oh yeah, Dwight, I do have some hard feelings about my face. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, it is, it is pretty... It was pretty cool. Um, Can't wait for it. I, I totally <clears throat> forgot about it. I was spending time with uh, my girlfriend. We went to Bloomington. so. But there was a scene where it actually shows Jerome stapling his face back <laughs> on. And he's got the scarred grin like Keith Ledger's Joker, too. Not as wide, but... They're really going with multiple yeah. inter uh, interpretations of Joker with him. But you he can, can pull them off. Yeah, but you can tell how his makeup's going to be when they finally do reveal him in full makeup. Because when Dwight cut his face off, he left like a ring around his eyes, so he still has the original flesh around his eyes. Yeah. And he kind of had to and then stitch the smile. The, yeah. yeah. So and you could tell. I've, I've seen they showed the, they showed the preview last week of that, so, <clears throat> of the way he looks. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I missed most of Lucifer because, well. How come, let me ask, how come every time you say Lucifer, it sounds like you're slurring? Like you're drunk? I don't know. <laughs> Lucifer? Lucifer. Sounds like you're drunk. Have you, have you been dabbing that uh, no, I vodka in the back room? No. I actually have not had a drink in, well, since probably the beginning of Jan uh, beginning of the summer. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I, I will occasionally drink the occasional apple ale, but, you know, uh, that's not enough one? to get you drunk. Which one do you like? Red's apple ale, of course. Uh, I like Angry Orchard. <laughs> I st so I started on Woodchuck. <clears throat> um, and then Red's came out, I tried Red's, and... Um, Loved the hell out of that. And somebody who said, try Angry Orchard. So I tried Angry Orchard. I'm like, oh my God, this is so much better. <laughs> so I'll drink Reds if it's if that's the only thing available at the bar. See, I like I like Reds. I like the apple ale. I like the strawberry ale. Cinnamon? Um, no. I think Reds would have uh, the seasonal one. And it comes out in fall. I, I, I haven't. I actually haven't tried that. I, I didn't, didn't really <laughs> care too much for the green apple ale, though. No. Well, no, no. The <clears> green <throat> apple ale from Reds? Yeah. I like that one. Hmm. I did. All right, so let's go and uh, you watched both seasons of Voltron Legendary Defender. You did your review on yeah. season two. Now we can both actually talk yeah. about it. What would you think of season one? <clears throat> I really liked season one. I thought it was pretty cool. It's I been a while since I've seen it because I watched it well, season one when it first hit Netflix. So I waited. did a review. He yeah. did a review. Go back and check that so out. So I've waited all year <laughs> to see season two. And I happened to just catch it at the... Um, it was weird. I, I, it didn't. I wasn't intending. I knew season two came out on the twentieth. Um, I just wasn't keeping track of dates, and it mm. turns out that I started season one and ended season one on the twentieth. So when I went, when it said, when I went to pick pick my phone up because I watch it from phone to TV, um, to try to find something else to watch, it said next episode, season two, season or season two, episode one. I'm like, and I realized, oh, it's the twentieth. Fuck yeah, bitch, start that. <laughs> Do it. Um, See, being a huge fan of the original, I mean, when I say huge fan, I mean huge fan of the original. I had an the, erection right now. <laughs> I had the bed sheets, I had the curtains, I had the toys. Um, season one, for me, I knew that there had to been something. They had to been doing something because I didn't think that uh, with this is supposed to be a reboot from the original and not like any of the other interpretation that they had of other cartoons. I was trying to figure out why they were going so far off with the pilots. Like, to my knowledge, Ven uh, was um, 
he I knew he piloted the Black Lion. And I knew No, Sven piloted the Red Lion originally. No, Sven piloted the Black. No, Sven and, piloted the Red Lion in the original uh, and, Defender of the Universe. Keith was the red pilot who piloted the black line because they their color the colors of their uniforms did not match no. their lines. Well, I thought, so I, Keith well, was red and piloted the, black line. Well, I thought Sven, the reason was that because Sven had died. No, so no, 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 switching. no, no. So Keith was red, piloted black line. Right. Lance was blue, piloted red line. Right. Sven was black, piloted blue line. Okay. Hunk was orange. Piloted yellow line, Pidge was green. Piloted green line. Yeah, because Hunk and Pidge <laughs> were the only two that actually piloted the colors. Right. And then when Sven uh, when Finn was injured in Voltron, but died in Go Line, he uh, Allura came in, wore pink, and piloted the blue line. Okay. Um, I was still kind of wondering why they were going so far off, though. Well, I, I will be explaining that in my history and origin of Voltron. Why not with the new series? series. I'll be explaining that though. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I, but but see, that's what got me thinking. Though. I was like, okay, I wonder if uh, Shiro Zven, Shiro Zven. I bet that's his last name. I, I was like, <clears throat> um, I'm, well, I'm wondering if. No, what it is is Shiro was his name in Go Line. Right. I know that. Right. I know. I know. It was their way of kind of giving a nod to the to the right. Japanese character. But it'd be funny if his last name was Ven. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Um, on our both characters, <laughs> both versions. But um, I got to wondering. I was like, okay, th this guy has been through. This guy's been through hell already. Uh, and I wonder if they're going to kill him off, or just injure him to the point to where um, Alora has to take over the Blue Lion, and I bet Keith's going to take over the Black Lion. I was like, I bet that's how they're going to end up making it a little and closer see, to the original series. And then season two came out, and I'm like, what was it? That was, was it? I think it was the first episode. First episode, Keith did Shiro was like, pilot. Shiro was like, hey, I want you to lead Voltron if something happens to me. I'm right. like, that's where they're going. Um, I bet that's where they're going. They're they're going to prep. They're gonna However, prep I'm, I'm kind of concerned because of the way they set up Voltron Legendary Defender, where the Lions have to bond with the Paladins. Well, that's just it, though. Keith... I think Keith piloted the Black. Briefly, Black and Black. is only to save Shiro. That's the only reason the Black Lion let him pilot. But what if, the, cause the way the episode ended, it's very possible that uh, Shiro bonded spiritually with the Black Lion. See, that's what I was saying. And that's maybe, what I brought maybe, up in my season and two And maybe review. that's how Keith is going to be able to pilot the black. It's not just going to be up to the black lion spirit. It's going to be up to Shiro's spirit as well. And that's how they're going to let, you know. But then... How, but how do you explain the other pilots right. trying to... Um, I think it's going to be a matter of situation. It's The lions are going to understand, okay, this is... You know, we're... We're, we're, we're a family. We're, 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 yeah, we're family. Uh, good God, I'm going back to Ninja Turtles here. <laughs> we're family. Um, but, anyway, yeah, that, that, yeah. yeah. So, so it's going to end up where Lance is going to end up piloting uh, the Red Lion, or if they do go, or if they really do go ahead and differentiate from the original, it will be Alora who pilots the Red Lion, so yeah. Keith can pilot the Black. But which would, would make sense as to why she wears pink. Yeah, I would really like Lance to take back over to the Red Lion, and she take over the Red Lion. I didn't really care for the way they changed Lance's personality. That bothers me yeah. too. That um, and Koran's personality. And the original Koran was very yeah, very much a fatherly figure to I wish I, I don't mind his comedic tone. I just wish they would tone it down. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Uh huh. somebody's at my door. Yeah, we uh <laughs> <laughs> Nobody luckily, ever comes around to the back door luckily, of the shop, so luckily I had my big bag protector here but Big bad protector. <laughs> I'm running out the front. <laughs> I'm shutting that door. <laughs> Apparently a uh, wire came off a camera or something in the back of the store. One of the uh, other shops came by to uh, let John know about it. Oh, I was dead serious though. If that would have been somewhat dangerous, <laughs> I would have shut that door and run out the front. <laughs> I'll call the cops! <laughs> All right. <laughs> So we've learned Shannon's a fucking coward. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, I would have called the cops from my car. <laughs> I didn't bring my damn knife with me today. <laughs> so apparently, uh, was that going the whole time? Yeah. Okay. At least I, we would have. At least we would have had audio footage of my death. Um. <laughs> apparently, a, a wire from the uh, electrical pole came down again because the delivery guy for the second time in like a two months not that he wasn't supposed to go through there and he, but it's from my side of the building that's the last time it was on there and uh, she just wanted to know if everything was here was okay I was like eh, yeah <laughs> I don't know. so far uh, knock on wood yeah <laughs> <laughs> so anyway what the hell are we talking about? We were talking about Voltron. Voltron. Yeah. I, I really wish, I that. really wish, I understand they're trying to differentiate themselves from all the other incarnations of Voltron, but I really want them to bring back the music. Yes, and, or at least the form <clears throat> of it. Right. And I really want them to bring back the original Blazing Sword, which they were kind of leading to in the final episode whenever where they it actually, extended. Had, yeah. where it extended and where it actually blazed. Yeah, they actually call it the Blazing Sword. Yeah. So, um, I like the fact that uh, the wings form the shield. Yeah. That was really cool. I, I kind of the toy doesn't do that, though, does no. it? No. That would be kind of cool. And I like um, the evolution of the Black Lion, where the wings that the look wings like feathers. Out. Yeah, they spread out. Um, nice touch there, which means <clears> we're <throat> probably going to get an updated uh, Black Lion at some point. Hopefully. Uh, hopefully, to where we can just switch the two lions out, as yeah. opposed to just you know have to buy another set of lions. <laughs> right. Um, and, you know, it wasn't really completely I, confirmed in season two that Koran, or I mean, that uh, Alf, King Alfor was the original pilot of the Red Lion. It was confirmed about the Black Lion, but it was kind of hinted at that he was the original Red Paladin. When yeah. Koran, uh, something happened to uh, Keith, he wasn't able to... Well, no, I think he just... Wanted, oh, he was gone. Yeah, I think he just wanted and, the red line because the, I think it's kind of a personal thing because they had the red line right. and then they stole it. I think and, that's more of a personal thing. The black line is his. That was his the one that was... Well, no, see, the thing, uh, Koran said, uh, I'm finally, I finally get to follow in your uh, footsteps, King Alfor. Koran, the red paladin... Oh, when he was doing that goofy yeah. shit with that dumb outfit. Yeah. He's a clown. <laughs> um, so it, it was kind of hinted yeah, at. Yeah, it was hinted that maybe Koran was uh, the yeah. Not Not Koran, but Alpha. Or Alpha. Alpha. Yeah. In the trailers for Logan, Wolver, uh, Logan is reading an X-Men comic book. And then we find out the reason is, and Hugh Jackman confirmed this, and this is really fucking stupid. Um... Logan does not take place in the regular X-Men universe. Isn't it like, it's supposed to be like 15 to 20 years after Days of Future Past. It doesn't take place in that universe. Really? Jackman confirmed it. Huh. Which is, again, really stupid. Yeah, it is. Um, oh, something we were going to continue discussing from last week. Last week there was that picture that uh, Reynolds showed yes. of him... Hugh Jackman and uh, Pierce Bronson. Uh, Brosnan. Brosnan, whatever. Uh, he knows his name. <laughs> they were hinting at uh, Bro Brosnan. Good boy. Um, at being Cable. And I had brought up, I don't know, I, I don't think I brought it up on the uh, podcast, but I brought it up to Shannon that maybe he's going to be Sinister. Which well, would make which, sense. Which would make sense, but we got confirmed that Sinister is not going to be in Logan. And the reason being is he wanted to go away from the comic book world. Maybe Sinister's uh, going to be in Deadpool, though. Maybe. It would make sense for Sinister to be in Deadpool since Sinister originated the Weapon X project, which created both Logan or Wolverine and Deadpool. Did it? Yes. It was his research that in, that basically instrumented the Weapon X project in the uh -huh. comics. So it would make sense. Because he isn't, Mr. Sinister himself isn't even a mutant. He's just like Deadpool. He did all this uh, experiments on himself to give himself these powers. Oh, um, for <clears throat> a minute. Um, but I went on this huge rant on Facebook about um, his reasoning for not wanting to put Sinister in. He wants to go away from the comic book world. And I think we've discussed this multiple freaking times. 
I go to read a comic book to escape reality, the real mm. world. I go to see a movie to escape the real world. I want my comic book movies to be a comic book movie. Right. I want to see costumes, uniforms. I don't care how goofy they freaking look. It's up to them to make it look right. Right. Avengers has pulled it off. The DC TV universe has pulled it off. There's no reason whatsoever freaking ever why we should not have seen Hugh Jackman in his Wolverine suit yeah. at least once. Even if it's to put it on and say, this looks really stupid. And then take it off. At least right. we got had him in the damn suit. Right. Um, they did kind of hint at it, though, in the first X-Men movie. What would you prefer, yellow spandex? And then, and again, the black biker outfits always has pissed me off. I lo- See, I liked them. Didn't like them. Because then what did the comics do? The comics switched to those yeah. to match the movie. And we tried to make it more realistic, you know, more realistic comic book world. I don't like that shit. I want my comic book movies to be comic book movies. So his reasoning for not putting Sinister in is a bunch of BS. <laughs> um, anything else we got to discuss yes. this week? What? Don't forget, uh, we, this week we have the return of the CW shows. Yeah. Uh, as I have reminded tonight right here, uh, Flash and Kid Flash team up tonight. Um, uh, Legends of Tomorrow is moving to Tuesdays after, or no, to, yeah, either Tuesday or Wednesday after either Flash or Arrow. Why? What are they doing on Friday? I don't know. They're Thursdays. I don't, I think they're moving Supernatural back to Thursdays. So what, where was, where was Supernatural at? Supernatural was right after, after Arrow. After Arrow? Yeah. What about this Riverside? Have you saw this show? Archie? No, I haven't seen it. I don't want to. It, I, I've seen the trailer. According to and... CBM, though, it, the darker Archie world actually makes sense. So it, it might be good. I want the darker Archie. No. I know. I want Archie. I want freaking Archie, damn it. Uh, I'm going over. Flash coming up back tonight. Uh, Supergirl will be back to, uh, next week. Good, I didn't miss Supergirl. I believe, <laughs> I believe. I'll have to double check tonight when I get home. Um, but Arrow and DC's Legends of Tomorrow are going to be on the same night now, I believe. And Supernatural, I think, is moving back to Thursday nights, which is where it got to start. Uh, here, here. Um, now we have Hugh Jackman's Wolverine has no intention of retiring quietly on the Empire, on the cover of Empire's uh, cover. Maybe that's kind of a hint that maybe <clears throat> Jackman changed his mind again. Probably. Um, I, I still think the comics should bring back the original Wolverine, Logan. They've got Old Man Logan and X-23 now, but, you know, it would be so... Go, go ahead. It would be so easy for some mutant with magnetic powers to come rip uh, and take the adamantium off of Wolverine and Weapon X, uh, Department H take his memories again and turn him back into Weapon X. Yeah. Okay, so those who follow the Oscars, I, I tend to every year. And this year, I'm probably... Is it still recording? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I'm probably going to end up boycotting. Because um, this is a bunch of bullshit here. Uh, so, um, Sui- Suicide Squad, um, I think Doctor Strange ended up picking up a nomination for uh, makeup. Uh, Doctor Strange did not get special effects. But here's the really screwed up thing. Suicide Squad has been nominated. Deadpool, nothing. Quite possibly one of the best comic book movies of the year. Hello. Sounds like really cool for you. Okay. Star Wars is just all the way up and you got the eyes. Hello. What size? Check it out. Hi. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Ironically, I had the Bubba Fett one right here. Yeah. I love these people. It's my size. <laughs> uh, what are you looking for for it? Five bucks. Five bucks? Whatever. Bring it. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh-huh. So now I have a Stormtrooper one. And I mean, there's a little red spot on it, but you can probably get it out. Yeah, it looks like a little ink spot or something. Purple. It's getting washed. <laughs> kind of smells. Yeah. Well, that's cool. I got a Boba <laughs> Fett uh, pullover hoodie that covers my entire face, which everybody always is happy about. And uh, I got a Boba Fett one. I got a, spruce, I got, well, a $5 storm tube. Well, see, that way you don't have to wear your hat. You can just zip it up. And... I do that. <laughs> I don't wear my hat as much as I used to. And that's kind of too late now for that. But... <laughs> so what the hell are we talking about? Oh, th- my rant, our, our rant, hopefully, yeah. on the yeah. fucking Oscars. So um, Deadpool gets nothing. 
Um, I think that's because critics really didn't understand it. Doctor Strange, Rogue One, uh, they picked up some technical nods. Rogue One had po- has quite possibly one of the best, no, the best Star Wars story in the saga. Many people love this movie over a lot of the, the, the movies that we've gotten so far. Well, see, the thing is, though, um, with the Oscars, or is it the Emmys? No, it's the Oscars. Okay. With, with award shows Emmys like that. TV. Okay. <laughs> with award shows like that, the studios can actually kind of bribe their oh, I know. way to... I know. It's, it's got to be the only reason why Suicide has any fucking nominations. Yeah. That's why the People's Choice Awards are probably the best award shows because people actually choose who gets through gets the awards it's not you know they're not paying someone to put their name in actually i actually have the full list here of the nominee um for best picture we have arrival i don't remember that one fences hacksaw ridge hell or high water hidden figures la la land which just came out lion manchester by the sea and moonlight what happened to have what the hell happened to having five movies as nominations? No clue. Jesus. I Christ. I stopped watching all those award shows. It just... I want. I'm a regular at the at the awards. I love watching the Academy Awards. I'll watch it this year now. Because Jimmy Kimmel's hosting. Good God. Um, I'll watch it this year for the memoriam. That's probably about it. Um, best actor Casey Affleck. Casey Affleck still acting? I guess. Way to go. Good for him. Get behind that shadow of Ben. <laughs> Uh, his best act for Manchester. Well, in order to do that, he'd have to first get behind the shadow of Matt. It would be awesome <laughs> if Casey was um, casted as Robin to Ben Affleck's Batman. <laughs> How insulting would that be? <laughs> I mean, why not? They can't. It, it was. Uh, they got Stephen Amell's cousin to play Firestorm. Why not? <laughs> uh, we have Andrew Garfield. Oh, Andrew Garfield's back. Cool. Hacksaw Ridge. Uh, oh, Hexa Ridge. Okay, I wanted to kind of wanted to see that. It was the one where uh, he's a soldier. Uh, he's a he's a doctor, but he doesn't want to use guns. And oh, kill. Okay, yeah. yeah. So I, I kind of I don't know. I might rent that one. Manchester by the Sea. I think that's the one uh, where uh, Casey Affleck has like a nephew or somebody who's sick. His parents are gone, and he has to take care of them. See the Hacksaw Ridge. Uh, looking at it, it kind of reminds me of. Uh, What's that old uh, Vietnam TV show? Uh, not MASH, but um, Hogan's Heroes. No, not Hogan's Heroes. That was World. That was, that was World War Two. Yeah, it was. Um, oh, sh- came out in the eighties. I know that late eighties, early nineties. You lost me now. Yeah. Uh, anyway, there's a character in it who was a medic, who was a pacifist. He wouldn't carry a gun, no matter what. Huh. So it, it kind of reminds me of that. Uh, we have Ryan Gosling for La La Land, Viggo Mortensen, Viggo Mortensen still acting too? I thought he retired. But Captain Fantastic, what the hell is Captain Fantastic? Moana, that, that's that uh, one with The Rock voiceover. He was that big Hawaiian. Oh, okay, yeah, I really okay. wanted to see that. They have um, the toys out in yeah. Walmart all. Really, it was pretty, I, I heard it was really good. I really wanted to see that. The Red oh, Turtle. that's another thing. Speaking Zootopia. of The Rock, before we get a Shazam movie, we're supposed to get a Black Adam movie. Which is stupid. And it's supposed to pit Black Superman. Adam against Superman. <laughs> and we won't even see Black Adam versus Shazam in the Shazam movie. That'll be later on down the line. There's supposed to be two Shazam movies. Yeah. Yeah, that's so stupid. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why DC uh, comic book movies have uh, been sucking. <laughs> <laughs> Something else I discovered this past week. I think that's, that can't you be know, the whole list. On, you cannot purchase any version of Masters of the Universe other than the movie on Vudu or Amazon Prime digital? Why? It's not on oh, there. Well, it's well, that's because not... uh, Netflix just brought back the animated series on there. Masters of the Universe and she are now back on Netflix. Really? Yeah. I haven't seen them on there. They, they just returned about a week or two ago. Huh. I'll have to check. Yeah. But I was looking on there because to see how much it would be to actually buy the se- seasons. And it said not available in your area. Wow. Yeah. Because Netflix got a hold of it. For some reason, both can't have the same freaking. Big channel. shout out to comicbookmovie.com there. Yeah. <laughs> did we give a shout out to Pixel Dan last week? I think we yes, did. Yes, we did. Okay. I even sent him a message on Facebook. He hasn't responded yet. I don't even he know. He doesn't respond often to yeah. us. 
Apparently, Superman's going to play a big part in Justice League. We already knew that. Yeah. At least they're not giving him a mullet. They're actually giving him a full head of long hair. <laughs> uh, Michael Doherty, uh, who some people will know, who, he directed Trick or Treat and Krampus. He's going to be directing Godzilla 2. I'm excited about that because I'm a big Godzilla nut. Uh, did you see the first Godzilla? Yes, I did. Or the, the new reboot. Yes, what did. did you think of it? I thought it was all right. See, I was kind of partial to the uh, 1990s version. Uh, really? The Matthew Broderick one. Yeah. Why? That's not Godzilla. So I liked it. It wasn't Godzilla. So? So if that... a movie says Godzilla, <laughs> the kind of thing it should be a Godzilla. <laughs> that was Godzilla. my introduction to Godzilla. Okay, I didn't. Oh my I God. never that watched. That was your introduction. Yeah, I never watched all the other old movies. That either. was your introduction. Yes, that was oh my introduction. God. I like the design of that Godzilla. Nobody liked the design of that Godzilla. I did. The, the toys you, that looked was, cool. That was stuff. your introduction to it. Yeah. The only reason I have that movie in my collection is because it says Godzilla. That's it. Uh, the animated series was better and a lot cooler than the movie that it was based on. Um, if you would like to borrow said no. DVDs no. to watch the original no. Godzilla, <laughs> which you should if you're going to you know, say you're a Godzilla fan. I never said I was a Godzilla fan. Well, you should be. <laughs> well, I missed, I think, two movies out of I, I could make the original Godzilla, remake the original Godzilla movies on my iPhone. <laughs> um, something that was kind of cool, nothing really big, but did you catch the um, the, uh, the recut of the Power Rangers trailer? Somebody put the, yeah. um, the, uh, original, the original yeah. Power Rangers uh, theme song yeah. and everything in there and... They mashed it together to look. That was kind of cool. I think we're running a little short on time now, so we're going to go ahead and end this podcast. Yeah, apparently we have a time frame now. Uh, we'll be back with John's review of the Adat from Star Wars toy review. We'll also be back with Comic Books 101, how to grade comics to oh, get the okay. best deal. That's what we're doing today. Yeah. Okay. Um, plus, I'll be doing... The Origin and History of Voltron, Part 1, which will be later this week. So, and I may have a couple comic book reviews in there over the weekend. I'm not sure. It just depends on time frame because I'm dealing with four different channels. And, but it's working out, you know. What are your other channels? Why don't you plug them? Well, the other channels, one is the Cornthwaite Lawn Care channel, which... Oh, that's got to be stimulating. <laughs> I cut... It's how to cut grass. Actually, Take your lawnmower, start it, <laughs> push it. Unless you have a riding lawnmower, actually, so get you, on it and push the gas. You know pedal. what? The lawn care community on YouTube is actually fairly big. You wouldn't believe how entertaining it actually is. <laughs> how entertaining it is. Yeah, it, and how uh, it, you get a lot of information from it. Like with my channel, I don't just do mowing videos. I do equipment reviews how to uh, maintain your lawn, how to take care of your lawn. I do a few mowing videos here and there, but okay. they're mostly time-lapsed. Oh. It's not a... How to rake leaves. <laughs> how to clean your gutter and not fall off your roof. Use a ladder. Actually, I use a ladder and I've almost fallen off of multiple <laughs> roofs. <laughs> I stand, but I, that's why I started using a blower up top. You hear that? Shannon blows. <laughs> Uh, I also do uh, how to repair videos on there. So if you guys are interested in that, check out the Cornthwaite Lawn Care channel. The link will be in the description. Uh, I also have Comic Book Kids. It YouTube started channel. last week. Yeah, it started last week. I actually did watch that. That's kind of cool. It, it revolves around my kids. You got Comic Duke. Of course it Duke, does. Comic forbid it does anybody else's kids. <laughs> Comic Duke, Comic Boo, and Comic <laughs> Sis. And they Comic do. Comic Boo. Comic Duke. Duke. And comic sis, and it, you know, their toy reviews, their unboxing videos. Oh, now I've seen those, because you did the black line one with Duke. Yeah. And you took his damn toy from him. <laughs> you wouldn't let him do the review. <laughs> no, he wanted me to. But anyway. Shannon takes kids' toys, folks. <laughs> but you also get, because kids' videos on YouTube are a huge thing right now. You won't. Be, my kids will spend all day long watching kids play yeah on youtube instead of you know playing right <laughs> so we screw playing i'm just going to somebody else been, do it they've been wanting to do a uh, channel of their own for a while yeah my oldest daughter's been wanting to do one she does her own comic book reviews for kids on there uh, i've got a few videos just 
different. Just now, your oldest is turned thirteen, isn't she? Yeah, she'll be fourteen this year. Right. Yeah. Um, something you could suggest? Tell her, you know, to do a YouTube channel on being a teenager. That could be, you know, kind of like your drama, dramatic yeah. YouTube. Now, had I had a YouTube station back when I was a teen, I would have totally done that. Yeah. And I think it could actually help other teenagers. Yeah. It's not geeky, I know. <laughs> and plus, I've got my personal vlogging channel, which is SM Cornthwaite. I do videos on just about everything that crosses my mind. I do comic book hauls, video game hauls, uh, movie hauls. I talk about, you know, what's going on in the news. Hall's cough drop. <laughs> I, I talk about my day, my week, you know, whatever, just whatever comes to mind. It's a place for me to just be me. I don't have any specific topic that the channel is just designated for. Like, Comic Eden is directly for all things geek culture. Right. Comic Book Kids TV is all thing kids. Cornthwaite Lawn Care is for all things right. lawn, lawn care related. <laughs> Tools, lawnmower, lawn equipment, you know, reviews and stuff like that. My personal vlog is for me to, whatever I feel like talking about that day, that's what I talk about. And I am still looking, if you're in the Decatur area, I am still looking for a co-host for The Pit, um, a Facebook Live wrestling sh uh, show I'm trying to get ready to start. I was hoping to have it started and ready to go uh, this week. Uh, for the Royal Rumble, uh, it doesn't look like that's going to happen um, unless I do it myself. So uh, that's it for the podcast this week, guys. Tune back in later for John's tour review of the Star Wars Ad Act. Ad Act. Yeah. A T A S A C T. Ad Act. And Comic Books 101 How to Grade and Get the Best Deals on Your Comic. Tune in then, guys. <laughs> <laughs>